<clears throat> Hi everyone. Okay, so I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. It is now Sunday evening and I'm going to come on and show you how I made. Now, actually, before I say that, I was going to show how I made all three of those cards. This one, this one and this one. And that is of the result of the, vote, the poll that I put out. You guys said that you would like to see them being made. However, I'm only going to show how to make this one. But if you stay tuned, I am going to tell you how you can win these two. Along with, obviously, they're going to have their coordinating ivory envelopes. So you can have that one. You can have this one. And also this one. Okay, so you can win all of three of these in this video. I'm just going to send them out. But I'm going to show how I made this one. So first of all, it's a 6x6 six six card. And these are just the pre bought cards from these were actually from the range these ones and um, you can get them from hobby craft and things they're really good they're 280 gsm and i've taken a sheet of the paper now let me see where am i let me grab let's just get in the right set so it's this one so it's moonstruck yeah moonstruck that's her stamps and I don't think do I have her that no I don't have her dies so I, I am bidding on them on eBay the ones that I've got missed out of I'm actually bidding them on eBay just now so it's Moonstruck that I have used um so it's Moonstruck's paper because in the pad you get all the coordinating papers for the six characters and you get 24 designs and two sheets well this is the second time i've used this sheet obviously because of the other card so what i've done is scanned it into my computer well not my computer my phone i scanned it with my printer into my phone and when i get my new eco tank for christmas i'll print some of them out so that i've still got it so pop that to the side just now so this is so actually for each character you get the embossing folder you get the main stamp set with the sentiments and then you get the accessory stamps and you also get the accessory dies. These ones are destinies, but as I say, I'm bidding on the ones for Moonstruck. The dies are alright, I don't know. I like the stamps better than the dies and that's unusual for me to say that. The stamps are, the dies are okay. I'm, I'm going to get the whole set just so that I've got them all and you can mix and match them, but I do really like the stamps. Okay, anyway, and the embossing folders work really well. Um, sorry, I'm blethering before I even start making this card. This one here, you can see it on the inside. I don't know if it's shown up, but this I've embossed this with her embossing folder and it's a really deep emboss. It's beautiful. Okay, so pop them to the side just now because they're going to get sent out. Right, first thing first, all I'm going to do... Now these papers, this, I don't know if you can see it guys, look it's got the doily, by the moonlight of my heart, it's got by the moonlight of my heart there, it's got like full washi tape, embellishments, flowers, it's just, it's an absolutely beautiful set. Crafters Companion are amazing at what they do but I don't even know how many years this set's been out for, I know it's been out for a while and I don't know why I didn't get it when it first came out but maybe I wasn't crafting or I hadn't started crafting back crafting when it came out. But um, anyway, I love it, so it's really good I've got it now. Is that even coming out? This is what I do when my, my glue is stuck. I just stick my poke tool in, get a wiggle and bring it out. And then just give that a wee wipe off with a bit of tissue or scrap card. And it's fine again. Right, let's put a wee bit more on. There, that's it. I must have left it lying open. So I want this bottom in the moonlight, no, by the moonlight of my heart, to be shown. So I'm just going to line that up. Now you could measure it and then put it on, but ugh, measuring, no, no, measuring, no. Oh, look at this, actually, when I'm looking up here, I'll show you this. Sorry, you know what I'm like, I get sidetracked. Um, I 
got these for Tesco last night. I think they were 150 or 175. Aren't they beautiful? Like the damask napkins. And you get the whole pattern repeated. Oh, that's they're beautiful and they're like a gold. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted, but they're really nice. So I'll be sending some of those out in friend mail. They're gorgeous. Right, anyway, I'm way off track again. But then you didn't watch this channel for airs and graces, guys, or you wouldn't be here. <laughs> because I really didn't have any. Right. So, anyway. Shush, Sam. Cutting off the excess paper. I need to get glasses. I've been saying it for months. I used to have glasses, but I lost them. I don't know what happened to them. Right. So that is the basis of the card. I mean, look at that. That paper looks as if I put a doily on it, and it's just amazing. So, got that anyway. So, these, this video is sort of just like a craft along with me again. Any of these techniques or you know anything like that you can put on any card with any paper um this is just basically a wee craft with me and if you've got these dies it might give you some ideas if not you might have similar dies or similar stamps and it might just give you ideas as well or you might just like have me on in the background when you're crafting right so the next thing i'm going to do is stamp out the image and we will grab her main die set I'll give you a look at that there isn't that cool shall we dance yep moonstruck so we'll pull her out and pop this to the side and I will grab a piece of white card she says I went to Poundland today to get some white card um, do you know just the the packs that they usually do, they do the coloured packs and the white packs and they never had any, I'll use that, they're actually pre-folded cards but I'll use that, they never had, they had the coloured one so I'll need to either go up to Livingston or try again during the week, um, but that's mostly cream, but we'll use one of these wee half cards. Okay, I've actually got a lot of them. They came in a, a D stash. Right, let's take this off of here. And I've got the bigger acrylic block just to make sure she fits on. And I'm going to use stays on because I'm going to be colouring her with alcohol markers. Make sure I've got it everywhere. I love the smell of stays on. It reminds me of like Play-Doh or something like that. It smells lovely. And we'll just... Sorry, my chair's making some racket. There you go. She's nice. She's got a wee hair on her. Take her off and put her back on there. You go. Now, first of all, I want to take my trimmer. Oh my gosh, I'm in the middle of about two or three projects. I'm trying to get everything done before tomorrow because I've got a lot of work to do for uni tomorrow. So my desk is full, seriously I've got yeah, three projects on the go and none of them are small projects so I'm like oh, my desk is a mess. So I'm just cutting her down to make her into like a topper. Do you know that's a new blade. Elizabeth gave me a new blade 
and that is a new blade but it's still feathers some cards most some of it, it doesn't but some it does at that Fisker's trimmer I like the precision of it but would I buy another one no if I could afford it I would buy one of the caterpillars or the caterpillars that you get um, in Crate and Craft maybe one day I'll get one maybe for next Christmas but that cutter the Fisker's <laughs> Looks good and it is precision, but it does feather the card, even my new blade. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is grab, oops, I've already got it out, I think, black Spectrum Marn. This can be any alcohol marker or ink pad. And I'm just going to edge around topper to make it stand out from the card. Or from the back of paper. Like that. I think I'll try and bring you guys in a wee bit. Is that better? Okay. So, um, well, I colour her in just now. I'll maybe get her, I'll, maybe I'll start with a quick colour. I don't know if I'll do the whole colour and then oh, this video will be quite long. I'll colour in the back of your chair. This is just an EB4, just a brown. Just making her chair brown. Obviously, you can do it in any colour you like. Or if you're using any other stamped image and just copying the techniques. Okay. So I'm just doing the cushion of the chair. She's got tiny wee tiny skinny legs. It's funny. Um and then we'll do around our hat. The mask colouring skulls leave a lot to be desired. I have started to do some more um, shading and things, but I enjoy colouring in. I've just not got a lot. I mean, you see some of these tutorials on Hachanda and um, Kate and Craft and on YouTube and things. Some of the girls are amazing. Some of the gentlemen as well doing the colouring, but Unfortunately, I'm not that good at it, but I do enjoy it. A wee bit there, is that it? And I think there's a wee bit here, behind her. There. And then, we'll take a, a grey, I think. Well, it's almost black, but it's not it's a dark green. This is just for the actual wood part of the chair. Okay, and then I'm going to take, let me see, this one, and just colour in some of the flowers. I'm doing this different colours to the original card. Just to make it slightly different. Okay. 
And if any of you guys are interested, this is LV1 that I'm using. Okay. Colour in our bow in a dark green. And the feather. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And then we'll just go and you could shade this part. I did shade it on the original card. I don't know if you can see it here. I shaded it. But for time of this video as well, I will just do it all the one colour. So I'm going to give her grey tights as well. Just for speed. Okay. I'm going to give her black hair just because that's my natural colour and I like black hair although as I got a bit older I had to keep dyeing it jet black because of the grey <laughs> and then her hat I think we'll go in with this one P5, just put a bit of brightness in. And the good thing about these characters being so whimsical is you can afford to go crazy with your colours. You could give her purple hair if you wanted to. Look, this pen's running out a bit. This is one of the ones that Elizabeth gave me. I think it's running out a wee bit. And maybe no, it's all right actually. PP5, that's what this one is. Maybe just not quite as juicy as the other newer ones. But it's all right. So there she's got her hat. So we're almost there. I'm going to actually do the bottom of her dress in the matching colour. Like that. And then I'm looking for FS2 because that's my favourite skin colour. We'll do her face in FS2. And then I'm going to take FS9 and give her a wee bit of rosy cheeks. Like that. 
and finally we'll give her a wee bit blue eyes a wee bit blue to her eyes okay so that was really really roughly coloured in guys just for speed but um, you get the idea you can do it you guys will do a better job at home so we'll bring back in the card and all I'm going to do is get my glue which is leaking everywhere because I've unblocked it fabulous there we go the good thing about that glue is you just rub your hands together and it all bobbles up and comes off okay Oh, and the fabric glue that I picked up from the range, the one that was 150, Trimits is amazing, guys. I tried it out and it is fantastic. I've been gluing on um, fabric lace onto pages and different fabrics. It works amazing. Here, this was glued on with it. Um, this was glued on with it and honestly I just a wee bit and it sticks it on it's amazing so definitely recommend that from the range £1.50 because you guys had asked me to tell you how I got on with it okay so then let me just pull out now you get these packs she says you can find it Honestly, goodness. What have I? Oh, there it is. Um, you get these packs of die cut toppers, there's 12 sheets in each, and you get these with um, for each character. That one's been used. So, 12 sheets is good because then it means you can use, use them without worrying they're going to run out. Okay, what did I? Yeah. So I think I was thinking I've used the wrong one there, but I haven't. So you get this one, pocket watch. I'm just going to take that out. And stick it on the corner like there, like a wee accent. That looks cute. Then you get the wee owl. Look at that. Oops, sticking in my fingers. Look, it's cute. It's the same as the stamp. It's just shrunk in. So I'm going to put that as if it's standing on her hat that's cute um, and then the flower, the lily oh, I've got glue on my hands I'm going to take that and just pop on a bit of wet glue and I always use too much and I'm going to put this I'm looking forward to watching Dynasties tonight or Dynasties um, with David Attenborough, I watched the first part last week. I don't know if you guys watched it. It's amazing. I think it's the penguins this week. Um, it was the apes last week. Okay, so this card is just about done. All I'm going to do is I have this die that comes with a set. It's a um, ribbon border, it's called. I'm going to run that through the die cut machine in a second. But what I'm going to do is go back to her stamp set. And I'm going to stamp out Dream Impossible Things. Yeah. really nice sentiments with these I'm going to pop that sort of on an angle there that looks cool eh? dream impossible things I think that looks cool oh actually while I've got the stamps out I'm going to stamp shall we dance on the inside that's another one of her sentiments so shall <laughs> oops I've just dropped a stamp in the bin I feel stressed tonight guys, do you know why? I feel like this is this tutorial is going crazy, it's not going very well. Let me know if I'm making a bit of a mess of it. 
Um, shall we dance? We'll stamp that on the inside. There. I'll we'll quickly stamp her accessory owl. Put him on there. And he can go there. Okay. That's a stamping done. Now, I'm going to run this through the Gemini, but... I did have... What have I done right now? There it is. A sheet of green... It's like green shimmery... This is actually Centura Pearl, but you can use any card or pearlescent card. But that's the Crater Companion Centura Pearl, and it's lovely. It's like this olive colour. So I'm going to run this through, oops, the Gemini. Just pop it on there. Quickly run it through. Okay, so while I'm poking these out, I'm going to tell you what you can do to win the cards. So there are six Fairy Rose characters, which I'm going to show you in a wee second. And get this just popped out in the corner. Okay. Crafters Companion have actually upped their game since these dice came out and they come out a lot easier than what they used to. Right, so that's there. So there are six characters, okay? There are, let me just grab them to show you guys so that you know what I'm talking about. I've got there four. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna burst out crying. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong today. I feel like oh my gosh, I can't find anything. One, two, three, four. Sorry everyone, I'm not doing very well today. Okay, so, right. Six characters. So, we have Moonstruck, which is the one I'm using just now. Moonstruck. Then we have Starlet. Then we have Destiny. Then we have Sunbeam. Then we have flutter by and cupcake so all you have to do is to win the three cards um, is tell me who your favourite um, Ferret and Rose character is Sorry, I'm just grabbing some ribbon. You probably switched off by now anyway, guys. This video is absolutely terrible. I don't know how much you ever just get days where you just... <sighs> your mental health struggling. You're just... Everything's struggling. It's been one of these days. But I promised you guys that I would come on and do this tutorial if I really wanted to do it. I didn't like breaking my word to you. Anyway, I took a bit of ribbon. 
and please don't please don't leave please don't please don't unsubscribe or anything i'm just having a bad day i'm not usually as scatty as this okay so i'm putting the ribbon through the die cut Okay, so I've threaded it through and I'm going to just pop it on there. Now with the original one, I actually left the ribbon longer and tied it, but I forgot to do that with this one. So all I'm going to do is use the glue And go down here. Like that. And then pop it sort of central. Because it doesn't actually reach a right along the 6x6. Six six. Pop it like that. And then just cut off the excess from the back. Okay. And then you would just go ahead and colour in the wee owl on the inside but I've already done the one that I'm going to send out so I'll do that other one later okay we've finally got through it honestly guys I apologise I, I know if I seem like an absolute scatter uh, throughout this video I really do really really do apologise I've had the worst day but anyway that's not your guys problem so on a cheerier note to win this one no 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 that one the, this one it's got nicer colouring to win this one and the other two what have I done with them I apologise I had to pause for a wee second there um, right so this one with its envelope you can win that one and that one and this one and I'll pop them in a wee envelope, padded envelope and send them out to you all you have to do is comment down below let me know what your favourite Verity Rose character is and um, I will do the drawing for this just in a few days I'll just leave it open for a few days and then draw it during the week and um, thank you so much for watching guys please bear with me um, I apologise for being a bit crazy on this video I hope you liked the tutorial I hope you liked the card that I made and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit me a thumbs up and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.